What's going on guys? So today's video got my wife back, the boss lady, and we're actually going to be doing another smell raid, but of the brand of Mercedes-Benz. I ended up doing this type of video with Bishop Brigante, music artist, legend in the Toronto hip hop community, but you guys want the thoughts or the opinions of a lady, so that's what we're going to do, alright? So we do have the dry down there, they've been there for the boat. 20 to 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and most of these are bottles because I have a lot of Mercedes Benz. One is going to be a sample, but let's just start it off with the first one. Okay. I don't even know what this one is called. Oh, Mercedes Benz Club Blue. Okay. <laughs> so, how many have we got? We got 10. Okay. All right. I, I could have made like 15, uh -huh. but it's, I, I thought I would be nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. So, Club Blue. Mm hmm. Versus Man Gray. Okay. okay. So which one do you prefer, hon? There's going to be some dark ones, some fresh ones. All kinds of ones in this one. This one. You prefer gray. Gray. What is it about the blue that you don't care for? It feels a little too make-believe. Okay. All right. Yeah, make, make believe is the wrong word. I just can't find a better word for it. All right. It's just, um, of all the things that we smell, I have an expectation now. <laughs> and She's gotten snobby. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. It's I have okay. an expectation that it's going to... Wow you. Yeah, it feels like, I feel like it's watered down. This will, listen, over the years you smelled a lot of fragrances. I have. So a lot of the stuff will smell the same. I get it. Mm -hmm. Alright, but next one hopefully does it. And that's going to be Mercedes Benz Silver. Okay. So, silver or gray? You're right. It does smell better than the blue. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to stick with the gray. Okay. So, next one is going to be. Mm -hmm. Man private. Okay. So, tester bottle without the cap. Okay. Does this have oud in it? No. Okay. But I can understand why you would say that. I'm not going to say anything until afterwards. I can smell it though. Ooh, it is a, it is a, a stronger scent. It's stronger. It's not horrendous. I'm going to stick with this one. You asked if there was um, wood in it. There's loads of woods. Woods okay. and, and warm spices. Gotcha. All right. So let's go with the sample this time. This is going to be select. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's select. Okay. Just wanted to make sure there. This gives me a watermelon vibe. I really hope that's select. This should be select. I'm just gonna put it out there. So, but which one do you prefer? So the more I smell it, the more I like it. Mm hmm But I'm gonna go with the gray. And yeah, I'm gonna go with the gray. What? Why? What's... What am I thinking? I'm thinking I want to smell that woody one again. It's gonna be in the pile again. This is select because. Okay. Aventus. Aventus clone. Oh, it's an Aventus clone? Yeah. It doesn't smell like Aventus though. This is the 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 man this one here. Alright, so let's go with this one here. Mm -hmm. Club Black. Okay. Club Black or Man Grey. This smells like cotton candy. It's very sweet. It's kind of feminine to be honest. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I would wear this on me, but I don't think I would want to smell it on you. I okay. You. So you go on with this one here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this gets comparisons to Guerlain uh -huh. Spiritus du Blivini. So you smelled this at the the, the Guerlain boutique when it was oh, in Yorkville okay. years ago. I got it. So the thing with this brand is that this, I don't want to say it's a clone brand, but they do a lot of fragrances that smell like other fragrances out there. No right? worries. Okay. So next one is going to be uh -huh. Man Blue. Okay. Oh. So, man blue. Man blue. Okay. I like the dry down more than the opening. All right, so next one is going to be, I have to read the bottle here. Uh, 
Addictive Oriental. Okay. The name is not politically correct anymore. So this this came out in 2015. So. All right. So. Oh. Smell. It's no. No. It's too sour. Smell it. I get what you mean, but it, it's it's a spicy acid. You sure? It's a spicy scent. I don't smell no spice. All right. Well, whatever. Do you it, like it? I do. You do? I do. Maybe I like it more on you than I do on paper. Exactly, yeah. So that gets knocked out. All right. Okay. So we have two left. Let's go with Select Night. Okay. Hmm. Where's the, uh, oh, there it is. Okay. This is nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You really can't go wrong with any of these fragrances except for maybe the this one here. This one can be tough. Mm-hmm. That one was tough, yeah. <laughs> so man blue or select night. So I like select night. You're gonna select it or, or you I like I like it. Oh okay. But I'm gonna go with blue. And the last one is gonna be man bright. Man bright. Not this guy! You're not right. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, Man Bright for the winner. Man oh. Bright or oh, change hands. I don't know now. I like both of them actually. Can only be a winner. How's the mood? We should have started with this one. Um, okay, so I'm in the mood for something a little bit more bold, but not cloying. We have some pretty bold fragrances in this list, babe. Really? Yeah. What? We got the man okay. private. So that's why I went back to this, though. Okay, so what? It's a, it's a toss-up between the three? Possibly. Somehow, I was scared to like it, but I did, because I don't like anything along the darker lines, I get like it. the ouds and all of that. And I, I know this has the oud in it, but somehow I'm like, oh, I don't know. But I like it. Okay, well. Then I kept going back and forth like then, that. Then, then smell it up. So that is. Now it smells like incense. So it's a battle between the You're this so line. Different. Oh yeah. So the, okay, man blue. Mm-hmm. That's private. Sorry, that's private, and mm -hmm. this is bright. Okay. So that's bright. Blue. And man private. Okay. Let's smell it in a different order now. Okay. Man bright. Man bright for the win. Man bright for the win. Why is that? It's a more versatile fragrance. Okay. Private, you really have to be mindful of your audience. Yes. Not everybody's gonna like it. Don't wear it to work. Wear it in a setting where you know people like fragrances because th this could give somebody a migraine. But it's a nice fragrance. It's, it's not horrible. You have to wear it on very cold days, I'd say. Yes. Yeah. So these two, warmer seasons, yeah. man private, is, very cold. Yeah. We're getting colder weather too. Maybe that's why I was drawn to it. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But it's actually October 1st right now. But the winner, guys, is actually going to be Man Bright. So this gets comparisons to Dior Sauvage. Mm -hmm. This gets comparisons to uh, Versace Man Au Fresh or yeah, Versace Man Au Fresh. I was thinking of Pourhomme. Mm -hmm. Spiritus Double Veni. Tom Ford Noir Extreme. Really? This one I don't know. This one is not coming to mind, and the, the Addictive Oriental, I have no idea. Okay. So this is a great brand when it comes to like clones in a sense. Yeah, yeah. That are just way more affordable for the most part. But gotcha. The winner, guys, is going to be the fresh spring summer of Man Bright. Mm -hmm. love, love you. Love you too. Thank you very much for doing the very video. Always. If you want to see the video that I did with Bishop Brigante, right here, and if you want to see another smell right that we did together, could be the most random thing. I'm not... Draw it a blank right now, it's gonna be right here. If you wanna see any other videos that I've done from this brand, they will all be down in the description box below. And if you like this very video, you know what to do. Leave me one of these. We thank you for your time, take care, and we will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.